All right. Uh, hey, what's up? I am Jeff, and this is AWU Post RTX Edition. Live from Austin, Texas, in RTX 2015. This is AWU number. <laughs> For the week of August 10th, 2015, we survived RTX. Thank you everyone who came out to it. It was a lot of fun. It's good to see you all out there and I uh, hope you had safe journeys back home. Whew, we survived RTX. What a weekend. Jesus Christ. Gonna go ahead and start off by apologizing immediately. I know we said that we would announce the contest winners for the Ryan the Slide Guy contest from our crazy trip to Berlin, Germany, where Ryan threw caution and safety to the wind and risked his life to go down the world's most dangerous slide. However, uh, with RTX, we were just slammed. I'm sorry, guys and girls. We will do it next week. I promise. I know I promised last time, but this time I mean it. I guess I meant it then too, but. So we had our subscriber drive and it ended yesterday. And right after, or when it ended, we hit about 670,000 subscribers. That is fantastic. Woo! Thank you every single one of you for uh, subscribing to our channel. If you're watching now, we hope we're not gonna disappoint you. And uh, yeah, keep going. Keep telling everyone else to subscribe. That'd be great. We love having more people and we still have a lot of stuff we wanna do on this channel. Stay tuned for cool things. Anyway. Uh, got some games coming out this week. It's actually, uh, we're, we're starting to get, uh, starting to see the light at the end of the summer tunnel. Uh, Toy Soldiers War Chests coming out for the Xbox One and the PS4. I never played a Toy Soldiers game. Very popular. And I didn't realize it, but they have, like, licensed properties in there. I knew they had the Army Men in there. They have He-Man in there. Really? Yeah, they have Starbright. They have, like, they have some actual stuff in there. There's a game called Bedlam. It's a first-person shooter, weird, like, throwback to, like, 90s FPSs. Comes out on the PC and the PS4 and the Xbox One as well. Fallout Shelter's coming out for you Android users. Now you can finally play the game that we've all been done with for about a, three weeks. Yay! Congratulations, Ryan. Uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons has gotten the uh, next generation, or the current generation upgrade. It's going to be on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Goat Simulator's finally coming out for the PlayStation 3 and the 4, so you guys can catch up. Suck it. I I never played that game. I really should play it. it. Looks like a lot of fun. I'm actually, you know, all right. You get, you get, you win this round, Sony. Everybody's gone to Rapture. Comes out this week. Everybody's gone to the Rapture. It's the people that made Amnesia: The Dark Descent, their new game about like a post-apocalyptic thing where you're exploring uh, a town and there's. It's weird because there's like something happened and everybody's gone, but there's not any sign of a struggle or any. It's just everything's just empty. And it's supposed to be super, super, super creepy with really good graphics. So I'm actually, I'm sure we will do at least one or two Let's Watches in that this week. Achievement of the Week this week is going to be in uh, Toy Soldiers, obviously. It's called uh, What's in the Box? What's in the Box? I'll tell you what, the uh, requirement to purchase a blind box pack from the game. There you go. Do that and you, uh, who knows what will be in that box when you purchase it. Maybe your girlfriend's head. I see the resemblance. The fan art of the week, uh, I already showed you. It was uh, a cool ass sculpture of me, and then there was a dick. And then these are good too. A lot of fan art this week. Well, enough to sustain us till next RTX. Uh, I guess community time. We could do some community stuff. Community is awesome. We'll get back to you next week with a video. That's exactly what Jack said I should say. He's feeding me lines because I'm not really good at this. Man, we have no community video this we week. We have no community video this week. Because because the community is everyone from RTX. It's got cute. Yeah. I guess that's it for me. You guys want to talk to Jack? All right, so as far as news goes this week, I'm doing news off the top of my head that I learned at RTX. Yay, are you ready? Let's go. Number one, Rainbow Six Siege. They showed off PvP mode for the very first time. And the way they demoed PvP mode was by having Achievement Hunter, which is us in here your Austin-based crew, versus Funhouse, who is, uh, they're not in here. They're all douches who live in Los Angeles. Uh, yeah, and so anyway, we did a best of uh, three rounds, and uh, Achievement Hunter destroyed them handily. They got to play with their mouse and keyboard. We played with controllers and still beat the hell out of them. So that being said, Rainbow Six Siege is probably the best game I've ever played in my life. It's pretty uh, pretty fantastic. That's really great. So check that out when it comes out later this year. You need to drive robots. Drive robots. Little, they look like the uh, the things you go at the bank and you put in a little tube. And, go, <laughs> whoop, and they go up. And that's what they look like. Uh, also, at uh, at uh, RTX this year, we announced a couple new shows over in the podcast section, the broadcast section. We announced Sports Ball, a new sports show, and a Q&A show. So check those out. They'll be coming soon. And Ryan's going to do a show called Free Play. It got picked up, I think, right? Sure. Yeah, it's two, it's two shows a week, and it's Ryan being goofy because we know how goofy Ryan can be. Not at all crazy. The dark god Ryan, which is... Wow. Yeah. yeah. 
I have an arc. And last but not least, uh, I got to play some Assassin's Creed Syndicate live on stage and uh, and also uh, behind the scenes and uh, learn some cool stuff about that, including the fact that now you can swap between Jacob and Evie Fry. Those are the two main characters. When you're playing the game, just kind of walk around the city. You can swap between either one of them. Only in the sort of major story missions are you kind of forced to play one or the other. So if you want to play one and just like buff the heck out of that person, you can. So if you like, like Evie more than Jacob or vice versa, they have different skill trees and uh, they also can level differently. They level independently of each other. So that's pretty kick-ass, and I'm very, very excited for that game. It looks awesome. All right, and there was other stuff at RTX, I'm sure, that got announced, but I was so busy running from place to place and signing autographs and doing fun stuff, and uh, it was awesome. Thank you, everyone who came out. It was a blast. We love you. We'll see you next year to do more of it. Okay, I'm going to go fall asleep. <sighs> you guys want achievement? Oh, we already did achievement of the week. You guys want a video of the week? It's been getting harder and harder, Jack, and I'll tell you why. Our content is just too good. It's so good. It's so good every week. It's so hard to pick which is my favorite baby. So this week, I decided to pick one that I had nothing to do with. The brunette. Yes. Uh, the little green-eyed kid. Uh, it is... It is... Uh, let's play Star Wars Part 1, Michael and Ryan, Kirk and Spock. Yeah, transparent aluminum. Transparent aluminum? Transparent aluminum alloy. There you go. How do you know he didn't? Were you guys Kirk and Spock? Kirk and Spock. Spock, Kirk, and Kirk, Spock. Spock, Kirk, and Kirk, Spock. Those guys had a good, good time playing that game. They're all, they get all glowy when they talk about it and how there's five parts and how they can't wait till everybody else gets out of the office so they can get back to it. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and give that a try. It's doing pretty well, actually. For, uh, how old is that game? Two, two years old, maybe? Hmm. All right, there you go. See you next week. From the beautiful province of Quebec, in the, in the city of La Malbe, welcome to Awu 277 from my very first home in the province of Quebec. This is Awu number 277. This is Awu number 277 coming to you from Dawlish Devon outside of... From on top of the Deswan Windmill in Holland, Michigan. This is Awu number 277. Live from the Follow Boy concert in the Woodlands. This is Awu number... I don't know. From atop the Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing, China. This is Awu number 277. From the Cape of Good Hope, South Africa, you're watching Awu. From SeaTac International Airport, prepping to fly to Austin for RTX 2015, this is Awu number 277.